in this floor plan tutorial we will now place windows so we already created a wall layout so if someone have not seen the previous tutorial so for them we will create these two layers again door and window layer so just delete these layers so click on new layer give the name window then give the color ok then cancel this line weight to default ok again new layer for door give the color ok then close this now we want to create a windows so we will make window layer as a current then so we want to create this window w so size is 2 meter width so it is placed at the center so we will just take line command from this midpoint click on the midpoint to the midpoint then press enter then we will offset it by 1 meter on either side give the offset distance of 1 click the line give the side click click the line give the side click enter so we will just erase this line for that give e enter select the object press enter then again take line command from mid if midpoint is not shown automatically then you have to click on this object snap right click on it go to setting and tick to midpoint option then it will show automatically and click on the midpoint and click here enter then offset this by 0 0.05 select give the side again select give the other side enter then erase the middle line enter so this window is created so this window is created w the same window is here so we will just copy this window on this side so we will use copy click on the copy select object so we will be using a window selection just click outside in empty space create a blue window by clicking on left to right side don't create green window otherwise it will create walls also select walls also so create a blue window then enter then give the base point so on this side we can have the midpoint this midpoint so we will give this side midpoint so we have on that side also on this side also so you have to give a base point that will be available on the both the sides so we will take this midpoint and we will click on this midpoint press enter so same window is created so this is the then next is this w1 is 1.5 again it is at the mid so again we will create it there again line midpoint now here midpoint is here so we will just track it and come back then enter again offset offset by 0.75 it is 1.5 meter width so select give the side select give the side enter here is the middle line enter take the line command click the two points again offset by 0 0.05 enter on either side enter then erase the middle line so this window again this same window is here and here so we just have to rotate it and make it vertical so we will just copy it copy select object enter give base point anywhere give the second point press escape to come out then rotate this window using rotate command so rotate select object enter give the base point give the 
vertical direction and click then move it so again move select object enter now the base point is very important so we want the mid on this side actually so the midpoint should be this one so we'll just uh, take our point cursor for uh, hold some for some time there and come back and again take your cursor to this end point don't click just hold there and come down now we want this point actually then make the ortho up and click here then copy this window on this side copy select object enter then this midpoint to this midpoint enter to come out so in this way all the windows are created